What up gamers, what up, welcome back to the Paper Mario Thousand Year Door Danger Mario Run, it's your boy CD-ROM 1019, and let's get back to it. Today we're beginning the prologue to chapter 6, and boy things are going to start to get interesting. I'm sorry, seriously, we thought, we thought we had the guy cornered, <coughs> stop talking, you just stand by until my next order. Lord Crump, this is your last chance. You there. What is it, sir? Tell the Shadow Sirens to attack Mario again and tell them not to fail this time. I have one crystal star in my hands and Mario has five. Must take some measures. <coughs> Tech called me in here again. I wonder what it is this time. What? Was that noise you? What's wrong? I must request that you do something a bit more dangerous this time. I would like you to sneak into Sir Grotus' room and look for a data disk. Why would you need that? Although I can view all data on the network, I am unable to access the data of the computers that are not linked. Sir Grotus has information that even I am unable to view. <coughs> Pardon me. I must know it. I must know that information. I'll like it in there while I be disguised. Not this time, no one other than Sir Grotus can enter his room. In these elsewhere, there are guards outside the room that permit no entry. But there is a way. You'll be fine as long as you act as my instructions. I, want to make you, I do not want to make you do such a dangerous thing, but I have no one to ask but you. I don't mind tech really ask me anything. First, leave the room, take the elevator. <coughs> Alright, here we go. You will first go in the opposite direction to Sir Gertus's room, exit the elevator, and enter the room with the green lamp above it. <coughs> it should be all the way this way. Yep, here we are. Alright. This is the part of the game everybody just seems to hate. I wonder if I can get a stopwatch on here. Alarms and clock? Hmm. Let's see if I can use that. I'll have you concoct a potion that'll make you transparent. <coughs> yes, you will enter Sir Gross's room by becoming completely invisible. How do I make it? You must first set all of the potions on the desk in the concoctinator. It's that machine in the back, but even I do not know which potion to set where. Memo's left. Please use them as reference. Alright, we're going to grab these potions. <coughs> Do not place the red potion on the far right. Place the blue potion next to the red potion. Um, place the orange potion between the blue potion and the green potion. Uh, if it's not on the far right, there should be another note that tells me where these go. Place the two potions. Place two potions between the green and the red. If the if the red can't go on far right, then it must go on far left. Blue goes next to it. Green's on far right. Whoops, nope, not there. And orange is in the middle. <coughs> yes, I'm sure. Please cue the button on the control panel located on the left side of the room. <coughs> Please press the button where the beaker stops to dispense the potion. I'm 
Okay, now we need to time this for 30 seconds. Heat the mixed potion in the beaker for 30 seconds. Press the button exactly 30 seconds after the heating starts to stop the machine. And... go. <clears throat> How are you guys doing? You having fun? Is this enjoyable for you? The weather's been hot lately. Real hot, in fact. Hard to keep yourself cool lately. You gotta do what you can, though. You know how that goes. And... Stop. Okay, it should be finished, but did it come out correctly? I think it did. Very good. Please drink it, all of it, if you please. Please. Okay, let's drink that potion. And it worked. You have done it. You have successfully made yourself transparent. I must ask you to take off the dress, however. Even the potion cannot make the dress invisible. That's indecent. Oh, fine, I guess, if it's the only way. Going to Sir Gross's room. First, locate the disc with the recorded data. Insert the disc into the computer. Connect to network. Finished. Please come back to the room. Teach you how to make yourself normal again. <coughs> All right, to Gross's room. Confuse the yucks by opening the door. All right, we're in his room. Let's find the disc. <clears throat> Bunch of discs over here. Let's put it in the disc reader over here. And isn't that a cool Easter egg? That's the loading screen for the Nintendo disc uh, disc system. That was an add-on to the uh, original NES. She was never here, and we'll head back. <coughs> nope. Let's get to the lab again. I said the data I needed. Is that right? Well, I'm glad. I'll teach you how to... It's quite simple to get invisible. Drink a green potion. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's see. The green potion. <coughs> Alright. Now please return to the room. Alright, we just should be able to just exit this door, and it'll take us right to tech. What was that data? I'm still analyzing it. Data is heavily encrypted, but my tradition is correct. I cannot afford to make any six assumptions. I'll let you know my analysis is complete. Please use the communicator. <coughs> Message has been sent. We are done for now. Please go back to your room. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. I will protect you. <clears throat> Alright, let's save. All 
right. Meanwhile, with Bowser... <coughs> looks like Bowser's made it to, Trav uh, to Twilight Town. <coughs> Lord Crump appears to be there, too. Light is so weird here, it's spooking me out. Lights out because this is Twilight Town. Should be treasure here. Let's put the screws to one of these creepy things and find the crystal star. Hey, Crump, what are you doing? Hey, he found the super bomb. Now we can crush Mario and get the crystal star in one fell swoop. <clears throat> you know something about the stars, don't you? What's the big idea, Turtle Boy? You looking for crystal stars too? Sweet, this will help Crump come back. Let's get to it. You'll be telling me everything you know. No, actually it's you who's going to spill every bit in that big ugly head. If you hesitate at all, I'll show you no mercy. Figured try it, chubby. Troops report! <coughs> like that kind of a lot of dudes, huh? Feel like talking yet? You dare scoff at us, Koopa Clan, form up. Well played. What's it gonna be, tough guy? <coughs> oh, I gotta laugh, this is why I keep one of these around. Sorry, suckers, super bomb. Huh? That was it? That was your big weapon? Didn't even go off. This is how you do it, amateur. Watch it. <coughs> well then. Time to sail back. You're worthy in my eyes. You may use the ship, the Black Skull, anytime you like. This can get us back to Roeport in no time. Let's get everybody back home. Can't wait to get home. It's been looking forward to this. It's been so long. Trying to the live is all the treasure I needed. Let's get going. <coughs> Mario. We're going to stay here. I think we can make a fine life here for my sweet Frankie. Give my regards to the boss. I'm going to stay here. It's... It's a right nice place to live without any ghosts. Alright, we'll leave them here. Ready, amigos? Cast off. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Thus our adventure came to an exciting end. The ship sailed smoothly to Rogueport, and soon we saw the harbor off our bow. Did not find the treasure, but I'm satisfied, strange as it sounds, for I have found something even more precious than doubloons. I hear the crew readying to dock. The time is ripe to close this journal. To all who wander the sea, Flavio's blessing upon you. <coughs> Last we return to Rogueport. Of course, it's only because of my crazy efforts, yada yada yada, whatever. Yes, yes. Now, please excuse us, perhaps change, perhaps chance will bring us all together again. Alright. That reminds me, amigo. If you ever get the urge to return to Kialalki, just say the word. Maybe meet again. Flavio heads to the inn. Alright, time to hit the thousand year door. <coughs> Another email. <coughs> Dearest Mara, I have good news. I don't know where I'm being held, but there's a computer tech. Cooperating with tech, I managed to obtain some information on the fiends. He's currently analyzing it and then trust him. Once it's done, I should be able to provide you with details of your plans. I'll email on you in a little more. All right. There's Luigi. All right. Another email. 
RDM issue four. <coughs> Gomez, no from none for map, uh, mapping in the flowers. Uh, Gomez, I just really love flowers, and I, uh, yada, 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 blah, 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 blah. Twilight Shop. Don't you go smiling at my wife. Uh, hers for life, la, 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 la. All right, little rookies, we're on an intermediate level, intermediate level recipe. Healthy salad. Slice up a turtle leaf and a horse tail, and add a horse tail mix, and together, and you're done. All right. <coughs> okay, Merlin is out here. We're gonna talk to him real quick. When I consulted the star charts, I saw a pretentious sign for you. It went thusly: in the house of the dragon that flew beyond the air, uh, through the air beyond the reversible stair. Near the empty black chest that cursed you lies a clue to help your allies learn. I have no idea what it means, but I have no doubt it's important. If you figure out this mystery, come and tell me immediately. Okay. That means that we need to go back to Hooktail Castle for something. So now is also a good time to go through here, into the Roadport Trouble Center, and take on the question challenge here for this elusive badge. I'm also going to check the board again for something else real quick. Looking for a gal, tell that person. Alright, not happening yet. <coughs> Alright. Let's go down to the thousand year door. Okay. Um, also, let me look up where this is. Hang on. That's the wrong one. Right near the main entrance to Roomport Sewers. Uh oh, yeah, okay, so <clears throat> now that we got Bobbery, we can blow up this um wrong way. Oh, that opened up anyway. Let's take this pipe. And we'll go into this house here. <coughs> I believe you are Chet Repo, yep, okay. So this whole time, you've probably been watching and begging me to upgrade my health points. Um, I'm not going to do that. In fact, I'm going to do the opposite. <laughs> We're going to lower health points and swap them for some badge points. So we're going to do that, increase that by 3, and drop HP by 5. <clears throat> Wait a minute, hang on. What am I... Uh, should I do that, or should I increase the FP? Um, okay, I take that back. We're going to increase our flower points, and we're going to drop our HP. We're going to continue to get badge points by, um, by upgrades. Sounds great. Pia. So, by now you're probably very concerned. You're probably thinking, well, that was stupid, now you only have five health points. And you're right, I do. That means Mario is now in constant danger. So this really kicks the danger Mario into effect. What that means is that um, now that Mario is always, always, always in danger, that we're gonna be, um, we're gonna be utilizing these defense up badges, these lucky badges, these power rush bat and these power rush badges. So we're gonna basically boost our power by a ton, become a glass cannon, and equip ourselves with a bunch of badges that make it really hard to hit Mario. On top of all that, now that we've got five badge points to use, uh, we're gonna turn on these two P down D ups that increase our. Let's see, that's one. I should have more than that. Yep, there. Oh, that's P down D up P. All right, so we're gonna turn on one of those. Um, and I'm gonna, f I should be able to find another one later on. I was pretty sure I had, yeah, I'm gonna need another one of those later. Um, but now that we have that, I'm gonna not turn anything else on so we can turn on the flower saber next move, because we're gonna want to use that too. Uh, wait until you see what happens when we get a ton of power rush badges, it's gonna be pretty great. <coughs> let's go back upstairs real quick. Well, no, let's not. Let's go, I don't know why I did that. We're gonna go back down to the thousand yard door. I 
I know it's scary thinking about what we're doing, but it's you gotta you gotta trust me here. Mario becomes an absolute glass cannon. It's actually pretty fantastic. <coughs> All right, jump up here. All right, let's present that star. Cobalt Star is ready to be presented to the door. Two more stars left. Let's find out where the next one is. To the east of Roadport lies a city named Poshley Heights. It's a wonderful place to live for all the celebrities, and that marks where our next crystal star is. <coughs> Let's pop in on that professor fellow. Great news, my friends. The next star is in Poshley Heights. Wait a tick, I've heard <coughs> only rich and famous call that place home. Fairly sure one of the, there's one, there's also a shrine to the one of the stars called Poshley Sanctum. No fearsome monsters or dungeons either, just a tourist attraction. Sounds positively scintillating. Point is there. That's the best part. You'll ride the most famous train of all, the Excess Express. If, after a luxurious street steam engine excursion, the next Crystal Star will be yours. Crystal Stars has been backbreaking work, but this time will be a cinch. Mustn't you have wealth to ride that train? That may be true. Perhaps we should ask Don Pianta for help. I oh, know, terribly sorry, impossible, can't do it, the man's reprehensible. <laughs> Suppose there's nothing for it, we must, we must. Over set, I mean I have much time left, so you must hurry. I'll gather information I can, you guys handle your end. Alright, so, <clears throat> that being said, we're gonna take, uh, we're gonna head uh, back to, oh wait, I don't wanna go that way. I'm doing all the wrong moves. I'm getting ahead of myself. So we're not going to go to um, Poshley Heights yet. Or we're not even going to get ready to get on the train yet. We've got uh, we've got some work to do. First, we're going to go over to the bad shop and we're going to talk to the purveyor of the trouble. We're also going to check in to see if there's any other badges we can grab. We need quite a few more power rushes, so we got to find those. All right, let's see what they got for sale today. All right, an FP drain, a shrink stop, a head rattle, a fire drive, and a sleepy stop. No, nope, nothing that's going to be of use today. <coughs> we'll come back later. For now, it's Ms. Mouse. I'm the one with the trouble. I'm a pretty lucky girl to have you strapping fall like you take on my trouble. Let me get right to it. I've done all I can to find this one elusive badge, but I failed at every turn. It's hidden in Hooktail's lair of that much, I'm sure. Went to check that room after I heard you defeated Hooktail, but nothing. Did hear rumors that, this, that to find this badge, one has to use the power of the wind. No idea what that means, though. Anyway, look for it for me. Okay. Let's head to Hooktail's castle. This will be the third time I've been there. Uh, off screen, I did a, a trouble looking for Kupuk. Um, that's not really that fun of a trouble, so I didn't want to drag you through that. <coughs> hmm, there's a boat panel in here. I wonder if there's a something I can grab on the other side of this panel. Oh, there's a house there. Oh, that might be helpful to visit later. <coughs> Alright, we're going to head to Petal Meadows. And we're going to go to Hotel Castle. Ah, 
actually. I don't need to do that anymore, do I? I can hover across the bridge. Oh. Yep, there we go. <coughs> Into the castle we go. I'm gonna turn on um, first attack. All these enemies in this castle are so weak that we might be able to kill them just by... Yep, just by first striking, just like that. Wonderful. Whoops. <laughs> that one got up first. That one got up first right. <clears throat> Let's just run. Alright, this is... Oh, wow. So you can already see the Power Rush is active, is working, because we're constantly- whoops, I hit the wrong attack there. Eh, it worked anyway. Missed. <laughs> so, the Power Rush badges and the Close Call badges, they're already in full effect. It's pretty wonderful. And it's only gonna get better. Forward. Back off. Back off. That would be the reversible stair right there. <coughs> so we go in this room. And then this room. This oh. Well, we don't need to do that anymore. Because I can paper through there. <laughs> okay, there's the black box that cursed us, so we go in here. <clears throat> and we'll take this all the way over to this wall. And we'll have Bobbery break that wall for us. Inside is this blue switch, and we open this chest, and we've got an up arrow that we're gonna give. Whoops, give back to Merlin later, and that'll allow us to upgrade our partners even further. It's pretty wonderful. <coughs> all right, that's one thing we need. Now we need to go all the way up to Hooktail's lair and get this elusive badge. Looks like he's got a badge. Ah, uh, whatever. Missed. Wow, those turtles, man. Ow. Oh, 
Happy Heart Badge doesn't seem to be healing me, I'm not certain why. easier to get through this castle the second time around. I'm gonna grab Yasi to just make this climb a little quicker. I'll, I'll hit him. Wow, he doesn't... Okay, you know what? Now that I think about it, um, I have the spike shield, so I should be able to... I should be able to jump on him. What is happening? <laughs> he just didn't want to die. Fine. I don't know what happened there. I just could not hit that Goomba. He just kept getting close to me. What? Oh, that's upsetting. So, you probably noticed, Mario's attacking on threes right now. He doesn't even have the super boots yet. So, he might be attacking on fours, fives, or sixes when we get those super boots. <coughs> and that'll be pretty, that'll be pretty incredible. Alright, Hooktail's Lair. And we're gonna pull out Flurry. Go right about to the middle of the room. <coughs> Blow this away. And there's our badge. Attack effects F B or attack FX B. What does that even do? That changes the sound of our of our hammers to what? Effects R. Where's effects B? Huh, that's interesting. Alright, well. So we got one power rush, two last stands, two close calls. Uh, right? Is that what I needed? I needed... I need another last... Yeah, I need another last stand, but I have two close calls. Um, I need... Drop damage by half. Cause enemies to miss. Um, I need a bunch more power rushes. Okay, we got what we need. Let's head back to Rogueport. I'm gonna save in case something goes wrong. All right, let's descend the castle.
<clears throat> we can take a few shortcuts, I think, just to get down to the bottom floor. Like we can go here, and this. Now we're on. Now we're a few floors down, and now we're on the bottom floor. <coughs> Thankfully, getting out of Hooktail's Castle is easier than getting into it. this way so we can... Well, I don't really need to, but I'll just do it anyway. <laughs> Alright. We're out of Hooktail Castle. And we're heading back to... Rogueport. <coughs> Whoops! I don't think there's anything in particular. Oops! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I don't think there's anything in particular interest in that house, but I might check it before I go anywhere. <coughs> Let's see what's over here. Oh, look at that! A shine Sprite! That comes in handy. Glad we looked. Alright. Let's do a little bit of housekeeping, too. Um, if I'm right, if we go over this way... Yep, let's blow up this, uh, this thing over here so we can get through there if we need to. <coughs> Yay! Now we're in here! I'm trying to remember. This is the teleporter room, I believe. Yep. So let's... what's over this way? Okay, cool. Let's see if we can trade our star uh, star pieces for anything cool. Uh, let's see, a chill out. Pretty lucky, uh, I think we got one of those. Uh, happy fruit, happy power, item hog, flower finder, peekaboo. Quick change would be kinda nice to have. Uh, flower saver we just got. Okay, so that quick change might be nice. Um, it's the only one I think I, I kind of want. <coughs> Make enemy HP visible. Do I even have that? Somehow I didn't have a quick change before. I will... I'll take that for now, though. Oh, 7 BP? Nah, you know what, forget it. Let's hold on to these for now. Whoops. What's in here? Oh, yep, yeah, Mervilly's in here. Um, <coughs> I want to check this uh, item shop over here. I thought I remember there being something kind of cool in here. Well, high-profile shop. Um, Alright, no, nothing I particularly need. Anything I need in this door? I don't remember what was in here. I thought this was like a bar or something. Yeah, it is. Special Refuge, uh, this is Herb Tea's place. Sit back and enjoy. Alright, so Herb Tea. Alright, uh... Nothing going on there. Okay, so, let's head back to... Let's actually take... <coughs> let's go this way. And we'll go up to see Don Pianta. Blow 
this wall over here to get to Don Pianta a little quicker. Well, no, we can't, actually. That's just uh, another place where a Shine Sprite is. Hey, and there's a Star Piece, so that was cool. It was worth it to go through that. All right, let's go through this door, say hello to the Don. And turns out the Don's sick in bed. <coughs> He's been sick with loneliness since his daughter moved. Underboss Frankie's gone. What are we going to do? <coughs> what can we do for you guys? Tickets for the Ritziest Train around? You want to tra train for that? Ain't nothing we can do about that. <coughs> Getting us tickets. You got to talk to the boss to get those tickets. I just can't stand like seeing the boss like this. Hang on. Those two friendly folk, Frankie and Francesca. We have a Key Hall Key. You know where they are. If you if you're lying, I'll turn you into confetti. If that's where she is, why don't you bring her back, huh? Be a pal. We go ourselves. We can't leave the boss. Bring us Francesca, and we'll do and we'll do what we can to get you tickets. Deal. All right, let's go talk to them and bring them back. Whoops. Before we go back to Keel Hall Key, we need to do just a little bit more uh, tidying up of a few things. Exit the shop. All right, let's go talk to Ms. Mouse. Maybe see if the badge inventory has changed too. Probably hasn't, but it wouldn't hurt to check. Change. Mm, not really. Unsimplifier. Make action commands hard, but earn more star power. Uh, yeah, we're not going to do that. Um. <coughs> Alright, let's go up here. Hey, Ms. Mouse, how's it going? You mean you found the badge? Here you are. This is certainly a badge. I promise you won't get mad. You see, I was the one that hit it. I have to apologize. I knew you'd find it. You have even more skill finding than I do. Just thought of something, perhaps I should trust travel with you from now on. <coughs> I'm sure we'll find lots of badges that way. Take the badge you managed to find, I expect you to leave me more. Alright. And like that, Ms. Mouse is joining our party. <coughs> and it's great too, because Ms. Mouse actually has some cool attacks. Ms. Mouse will sniff for any items nearby. Something right near here. <coughs> All right, we're partying with Ms. Mouse now. There should be something nearby, she says. I wonder if it's back here. Yep, something right near us. Yep, Gunther's under it. Get off the. You fool, get off! You're standing on the... There we go. Jeez. She smells something else nearby. I wonder if there's anything inside this house. Yep. Uh, there's something in this house, she says, but... Oh, there it is. Okay. There's <laughs> something else nearby. A lot of, a lot of star pieces here in Roadport. I'm not going to do this forever. I'm just kind of having a little fun right now, but... Now that we got that, let's go to see Merlin, and let's go upgrade our partners a bunch. We should have a slew, uh, we should have, like, a, a bunch of star sprites by now. Whoop. Oh, actually, I don't want to do that yet. We got 11, so that's really cool. Here's your up arrow. <coughs> up arrow. Up. 
course. Boing. The Ultra Stone, that's what the sign meant. I picked it up at a flea market years ago, forgot it was in the attic. I can power up your partners even more. <coughs> All right. All right, let's power up some allies. We are unfortunately one Shine Sprite shy of partner of uh, getting four upgrades here, but let's uh, let's see here. We're gonna uh, we're gonna want to upgrade Bobbery at least once. I'm also gonna upgrade Ms. Mouse, and then I think I'll upgrade Goombella. Because Goombella's uh, head bonk, she'll do a lot more damage per head bonk. That multi bonk's actually really helpful. Um, and then when the next time we come back, we'll upgrade Yasi. One shy, shine sprite shy of getting another upgrade, unfortunately, but that's how it rolls. <coughs> and there we go. Alrighty. Okay. Fantastic. So now that that's all done, we're gonna get back on track. How many up? I'm blood level I'm at 15? Yikes, I got a lot more levels I need to grab soon, but that'll come later. Uh, at least There's at least two more chapters left. Probably gonna be grinding a ton in the Palace of Shadow. Um, neither here nor there. Uh, let's get back to adventure for now. Alright, we're gonna take a trip back to Keelhaw Key. I would go through the Roadport Sewer route, but unfortunately we need the Mega Hammer for that, and that just can't happen. <clears throat> All right, let's head back. Let's go see Frankie and Francesca. <coughs> At this point, they should be out in the lower levels of the forest, looking for the looking for their wedding ring they lost. Should be right around here. Yep. Hey, how you been? The boss is sick. <coughs> oh no, a time like this. I just dropped my web the wedding room Frankie gave me around here. I can't possibly leave until I find that ring. Must be somewhere between here and the Skull Rock. Shouldn't we forget about the ring for now and check on the boss? <coughs> that ring was simple. We're lovely. We have to find it. Maybe you just don't love me anymore. Of course I love you. Very sweet talk. You're going to have to see you love me 100 times. 100 times? If you love me, you have to. Come on, babe. You know I love you. Please, let's go. No, you have to say it 99 more times. Alright, fine, you crazy game. <coughs> Just gonna mash as fast as we can. So, oh, we called him Mario. All right, that might have been a 
I never noticed that. That might have been a um, an error in in, uh, in the script where uh, uh, the Yoshi calls Mario by his real name instead of Gonzalez. Uh, never noticed that before. That's kind of fun to see. <coughs> All right, let's do some attacking because we we need to just need need some more star points. Attacking fives on the hammer, just wait till we get the mega hammer. Um I'll just have him defend for now. Miss. Mario can jump on spikes now too, so let's see how much damage I can do on a jump. Threes. Yep, that was worth it. Whoops! Ah, uh, whatever. Whoop! Ah, whatever, I killed it. <laughs> oh, another Puget Piranha, man. How much will a spin jump do? <coughs> a lot, actually. Actually, I need to be checking these uh, bushes. That's what I'm forgetting to do. should be right around an in coupon. That might be nice to hold on to. Uh, I don't need one of these power blocks. The ring should be right around here. It's actually at Skull Rock, not that I remember. Should be in this one of these bushes. There it is, actually, right here. All right, let's get this back to Frankie and Francesca. Oh, more putrid piranhas. I should have just taken the cliff. Uh, we're close to an upgrade, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep attacking these guys. But I want them out of my way quick as possible, so I'm gonna sweet feast. Six points away. Oh, wow. I can't believe I let that happen just now. Um... Alright, I'm the Earth Tremor. Right. 
And let's get that level up. Alright, that's exactly enough points to get our next level up. Perfect. More badge points. <coughs> okay, now that we've got that upgrade, we can... Let's take a look at our badges again. We can take off this, um... First, this attack, uh... First attack badge. We can turn on... Ah, we didn't have the flower saver on, that's why. Alright, um, defense by one, HP plus, power plus. I don't know if I was wearing that before, but... Was I using that before? I was not, so we're not going to use that. We will turn on this flower saver, though. I was using two flower savers before. Oh boy, I'm going to have to get a... Alright. I'm gonna have to get another flower saver later. Um, good thing I know where I can grab one. Let me take a look at these badges again real quick. I apologize. I just need to look at what's happening here. Um, I have happy heart. Do I have the heart? I don't have heart finder turned on though. So I had a heart finder and I had a flower finder. I had two flower savers. I had feeling fine. I'm not sure where that badge is. Lucky start. Heart finder and flower finder. Uh, power bounce. Damage dodge. Ooh. I don't know where the damage dodge badge is, but I'm going to have to find that eventually. Uh, P up, D down. Need another one of those. Or P down, D up, rather. Uh, quick hammer, tornado jump, refund. Tornado jump would be nice to have. I'm still going to need a ton of power rushes. Um, do I have Mega Rush? I'm going to have to look these up during the next break, but that's alright. So let's uh, get back to what we were doing. And let's get on the boat and head back to Rogueport. Ready. Let's see, where is that damage dodge? Increase damage by one with a guard action. That could help. Uh, let's see. Found in Roport sewers near right before the entrance to the Bogley Woods. Oh yeah, that's what that is. Okay, I should go down and grab that. I totally forgot about that badge. That should be an easy badge to grab right about now. Yeah, you guys go do that. I'm gonna go do something. Whoops. <laughs> I'm gonna do something else real quick. I'm gonna go back down the Rogueport sewers and grab that badge, because I just kind of want it. levels. Get in the... Get in the... Wow. Okay. Missed. You made me mad. Yeah. 
I'm kind of just fighting these guys for the star points. Really? to what I was trying to do. Oh! Wow, I should have figured that. Just go in here and then just go this way. Duh. I feel kind of stupid about that. Um, I have exactly enough to put that on, too. Alright, let's turn that on. Uh, take a look at my other badges real quick. Uh, feeling fine. What does feeling fine do? Uh, status effects, right? Poisoning and di poisoning and dizziness. Immune to poison dizziness. That's nice. Um, I might have to find that one later. Spike shield, flower finder. Uh, what does flower finder do? The flower finder badge. Uh, makes more flowers appear than usual. Oh, okay, so that and Heart Finder would be pretty helpful for that. Uh, what else do I need? I need... Uh, Mega Rush P. What does Mega Rush do? I have a feeling I know, but I'll just check. Uh, when Mara is in peril, his attack power goes up by four. So that's actually that's helpful, but only if I get into peril, uh, it goes up by five in Thousand Year Door, and that can be found. Uh, and it can be bought from Charlatan in Roadport for sixty-four coins, or rarely held and dropped by Hammer Bros. Um, all right, we can probably do without that badge, quite honestly. I just kind of wanted this damage dodge. Um, the more badges I help to or have to help me save uh, or not get hit so much are kind of helpful at this point. <coughs> P down D up. I need another P down D up badge. Um, Got to figure out where I can find that. Hey, look! Here's a hammer, brother. I wonder. I mean, Sometimes they can drop it, it says, so let's, let's give this guy a bonk and see if we can get him to drop something. Probably not, but... <coughs> uh, let's see. It is Pound of Pirate's Grotto. I think I got one through Pirate's Grotto. It should be able to... Marcus the Votability can rarely drop from, or stolen by from Dark Claws. Okay, so we won't get the second one until later, um, if we get a second one at all. So, I won't expect it. I think we're... I think we're doing pretty good, actually. <coughs> okay. Now that that's out the way, let's head over to Don Pianto. Sworn that that was a, an entrance. Guess not. All right. Well, whatever. <coughs> Wake up. Open your eyes. Oh. Friend. 
Francesca. Came back and you too, Frankie. Francesca, Frankie, I was wrong. I was a stubborn old man. I know I may regret saying this, but I want the two of you to stay here with me. Can't bear to be away from you crazy kids. I'm an old man. I need peace. Guess the time has come for me to stop being selfish, causing everyone trouble. Looks like even Don Pianta, town of untimely death, can't escape old age. I'm going to retire. Well, it's time. I mean it. And I want you to be the successor, Frankie. What do you say? You're the head of the Pianta Syndicate. Still got it in you. You're a spring chicken. You don't got to do this. Me? <laughs> no, you're the one, Frank. You've been thinking that now for a while. You do just fine. I got a good feeling about you. you take care of Francesca and the rest of the syndicate. <coughs> Excuse me. Looks like you've done another favor for me. About that, boss. Well, this is going to be just beautiful. I know. What did you guys do? Kind of promised him something. We told him we'd get him a ticket for the Express Express if you brought your daughter. Oh, is that all? You had me worry for a second. Come on over, Mario. How many do you want? One, two, ten. Help yourself. All right, we got our train ticket. We'll come back anytime. How about that? Now that I'm retired, I'm going to get out of here. <coughs> You're the boss, Frankie. Got that? You the boss. You do good now. Got lots of work to do. I'll keep you in line. Knock it off with the pet names, call me Francesca. Or Miss Boss. Be by your side all the time. Thanks for everything. You're welcome here anytime. You're like a brother. You ain't bad. Ever think of joining up with the syndicate? It's the life. Okay, cool. Alright, one last thing before we get on the train. <coughs> I don't have a platinum card yet, and I can't help but remember. I can't help but... Uh, I can't remember if, uh, oh. <coughs> Looks like the Shadow Sirens are listening into our little conversation. <laughs> so I'll beat you to posh the heads and get the crystal star before you do. All right. I'm gonna check in one last thing before we get on that train and then we'll call this an episode. I need to see if... Any new... Let's see, looking for a gal? Nope, okay. So there's a mission that we're going to need to do when we come back from Chapter 6. It's going to be going to be pretty important, actually. That'll get us the Platinum card to uh, Pianta Parlor, and that's where we'll get a ton of... We should be able to get a bunch of Power Rush badges there. Uh, let's check the badge shop one more time, see if there's anything cool we can grab. <coughs> Let's see, Simplifier, Sleepy Stomp, Damage Dodge, Soft Stomp, and Last Stand P. Nope, I think we're good. Alright, to the train. <coughs> Got another email, let's save. Boo! Are you married? Did you get an email? Technology freaks me out. You think you're trying to capture friends? I figure I'd share a hot tip with you. There's still lots of treasure in Creepy Steeple. Of course, knowing you, you probably already found it all, so I'm useless. Creepy Steeple Boo. Yeah, okay, whatever. <coughs> Alright, let's board the train. <coughs> Alright, time to engage Chapter 6. Probably my favorite chapter of this entire game.
Chapter 6. Three Days of Excess. Alright, this is a good place to stop for now. This is my favorite chapter coming up, and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to check out the other videos on the GSL YouTube channel. Check out the official YTR forums. Myself at YouTube.com slash TechnoGeek. And be sure to check me out on the weekends at Twitch.tv slash Chaos Control Channel. Until next time, guys, it's been great, and it's going to get better. So we'll see you then. Bye!